Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. I've been asked by several people would I please show how to make a plenum in a fish tank using the slow moving system, which is using the airlift system. Here's a tank I had set up no more than about, I'm going to say a month and a half ago. And it's facing a window, but like most hobbyists that set up a tank like this and place their gravel directly at the bottom of the tank, no different than anybody else would do, as you can see it's got all kinds of slime algae. And some of that slime algae is purple slime algae already starting to grow. And you can see it on the glass and it's all over these flower pots. Water changes were done. Everything that a normal hobbyist would do was setting the gravel directly on the bottom of the tank is what this tank is showing. And even though I've done water changes and cleaned the gravel profusely, look at that algae that's growing. Very typical of what happens to people and how come they get disappointed with their fish tanks in such a short time. First thing you're going to need is an under gravel filter and it comes with lift tubes, it comes with all the makings, but you're going to have to cut everything shorter because you don't want a long lift tube. This is the bottom. As you can see it's cut very short. The lift tube is only two inches. The air stone is very short with its connection. The next thing you're going to need, as a, you can see here, is a 20 gallon fish tank. I'm using my antique fish tank that I showed in other, other videos. So this will be a good example for anyone who's beginning the hobbyist and they want to set up a plenum, but a slow moving plenum with a airlift system instead of connecting it to the canister filter like I show in some of my previous videos. So the tank's clean, everything's ready to go. I've cleaned the rocks and I cleaned the flower pots but I didn't scrub them down real good. I left some of the old algae still on them. And this will be a nice test tank to see what happens. Next thing you want to do is make sure your under gravel filter fits your tank. And you'll want to insert it into the tank just for the fine fit. And as you can see, the lift tube is already connected on to the under gravel filter before I place it in the tank. It's been cut down short so as not to have a long lift tube to make a more updraft of the water so it doesn't go very fast. See how short it is? That's all you want. You want a short one. You want to put the end cap on it. You want to make sure the under gravel fits nice and tight. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. If there's an inch on either side of the under gravel and the glass, that's perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt anything. And get your lift tube. Now, as you notice, I put the lift tube at the very right hand corner. And that is so the water will flow slowly through the under gravel filter from left to right. You don't want to add a lot of lift tubes. You only want to add one. And since you're using air, you're not going to worry about a high lift tube because you just don't want all that suction. And as you can see how short the lift tube is. Now this goes a little bit against what you've been told in the past on how you want an under gravel filter to run. You want, you want it to run with the most water possible through it. But since we're going to try to make anoxic conditions, we want the water to move very slowly, as slow as we can through the under gravel filter, because we are actually making, in reality, a slow moving plenum with an airlift. So now that everything's set, I'll let you see a close up of exactly what it looks like so you have some idea. Here it is. It's no more than a little over three inches high. Now once everything's been in place, it's like any other standard. You first put your stones in right on top of it. These stones have been cleaned previously. 
And the first thing I do is spread the stone out so I fill in all the gaps first. I'm, this way, the under gravel filter will not move once you start loading it full of the rest of the stones that you're going to be needing. So smooth it out and get it all in the corners and cracks just like I'm doing. See, I'm pushing it right in the corners. That way it stays in place. Very simple, easy, a child can do it. In fact, that's why I'm making this video so younger Aquarius will see exactly how I'm doing it, making this plenum. Now I know this goes a little bit against the grain of what we've all been told how under gravel filters should work, but remember, we're doing something a little different. We want to make anoxic conditions, not aerobic conditions where oxygen levels are high. We want oxygen levels to stay between 2 parts per million to 0.5 parts per million. So it will do the denitrification of the water. I've had filters set up like this for 10 years without ever breaking them down. Next step, of course, as I start replacing the old gravel that I pulled out. As you can see, I really haven't cleaned it. I'm just letting it with picking it up and letting it siphon through my hands the water and just putting it right back into the tank. Very simple. It's, nothing here is rocket science. You've already completed the main step. From here, you just Keep doing this, filling it up. Next thing you want to do is start filling the aquarium. And of course, put your decorations in. Now I clean these, like I said, the flower pots, but I didn't clean them to the point that they were look brand new. So I left some of the old algae still on them, as you can see from the picture. You can also see the bubblers are also going already. And the lift tube can actually be um, hidden behind a rock or, or something else if you don't want to see it because it is so short. Next thing is, I continue filling the aquarium with the water that I saved. So part of the water is fresh, clean water, and part of the water was old water. Now this is a picture of the aquarium about an hour after I set it up. It really cleared up within a very short period of time. I did not touch the canister filter. I left it just the way it was. And the gravel, as you could see, I didn't really clean it, just siphon it through my hands, got out the dirty water and threw it out. And <clears throat> it seemed like the fish did not go into any kind of shock or anything. That's the way they like to hide the parrotfish do. In, inside those uh, flower pots. But now we'll see within the next month and a half to two months what will happen to this aquarium versus the first time with making a plenum? And as you can see, how short the bubbler is and how much distance that bubbler has to take the water and siphon it through. All we're really looking for is that bubbler to take some water out of the right-hand side of the aquarium just so new water can come in very slowly. That's all we're doing. We are not really trying to make an aerobic condition uh, colonization of bacteria like we used to do with under gravel filters that was taken from sewage treatment plants because we really aren't looking for it to colonize such a uh, under gravel filter that will attract all kinds of dirt and mum and detritus. So until next time, I hope this has answered the question that everybody has asked me. How do you make a slow moving plenum using an air stone? It's really quite simple. 
Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Good night.